to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to a quick update video here for you as we are looking at our sun just releasing an x-class solar flare overnight looking here at lasco 2 showing this immense solar flare taking off from the northwestern region here almost equatorial this was the same region that set off over a dozen solar flares in the past 48 hours. Now releasing an X-class solar flare. And these huge sunspot regions are now coming into an Earth-facing position. So heads up everybody, stay aware and prepared. Stay tuned to daily events worldwide. Be giving you a full update on where it's heading tonight in the space weather update. We're going to see if ISWA has updated its spiral yes, yet, and it has. So we're looking here at that accelerated solar flare taking off towards Mercury and as well Stereo A. So it looks like this is not heading towards Earth, but definitely we've seen a very active sun as of late. Amazing imagery here. So we are currently under an R3 Geostorm. R1, R2 radio blackouts are likely with a slight chance for an R3 strong radio blackouts April 17th to 19th due to the flare history regions on 2993 and 2994. Now those sunspots are huge. Let's have a quick look at the sunspot region that has ejected this X-class solar flare. We're going to look at multi-spectrum right now. So lots of M-class and even a, uh, sorry, two M-classes and lots of C-class solar flares. And then that large flash right there, that was the x Lots of energy being thrown around there. Wow. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to the space weather update. Much love to y'all and appreciate all of the subscriptions. We are very, very close to 50,000 followers. So please share this video today with your friends and family. Staying aware and prepared with daily events worldwide. Following our sun, earthquakes, volcanoes, and of course world weather now, I wanted to show you here at a different light showing the size of these sunspot regions that are coming in you can see small sunspot region here a little bit of red a little bit of blue that is a sunspot region and then look at this we've got red and blue red and blue two large sunspots right beside each other coming in to an earth facing position so heads up we've got about five maybe six days of this as it turns into view also watching the southern region sunspot region forming here thanks to solar dynamics observatory we're able to visualize all of this sun's ac activity and it's amazing sights, really, looking at all of the plasma and energy being thrown around. Quick look here at 304 angstroms. Happy Easter, everybody. Happy Passover. I hope you're enjoying your time with loved ones. Staying safe and in love. Wow. Massive eruption coming from our sun. Luckily, not in an earth facing position, but again, these sunspots are turning into an earth facing position. So, heads up and stay tuned for the daily do coming tonight. And I will give you guys a full update 
on what's next with our son. Quick look here at the absorption map. As we are zapped, an elongated solar flux over the Indian Ocean and across Africa. Like that is a long pulse and still going over the Atlantic right now. Maximum absorption. Quick look at earthquakes. The last 24 hours, 227 earthquakes. Nothing major to report. A quick look at our aurora forecast for the next 24 hours. As yesterday, we saw a small geostorm affecting most of the northern hemisphere and it looks like it's going to continue in a minor way right into tonight across northern Ontario, Manitoba into Saskatchewan So nothing major to report for the Aurora, but I definitely wanted to share this X-Class Solar Flare with y'all. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Thanks for